Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm out for a walk in the countryside just on the edge of Chalfont St Peter. Chalfont St Peter is a large village in Buckinghamshire and flowing right through the middle of Chalfont St Peter, just here, is the River Misbal. So we're going to cross this delightfully rural bridge over the river. Now this is a chalk stream. It runs for about 17 miles from Great Missenden, right in the heart of the Chilterns, down to Denham where it joins the River Colne. It's a chalk stream so it does sometimes dry up and indeed it has dried up in Chalfont St Peter in the past but it's it's flowing at the moment. Now today's video isn't to focus on the main course of the River Misborn. I'm going to do that in the future. I'm going to walk the whole river from Great Missenden all the way to Denham. We're going to do that in the future. What I'm going to do today is show you three of the River Misborn's tributaries, all of which are in Chalfont St Peter and when I last looked all had watering because they are even more prone to drying up so um, let's go and find them. So come across the river. This is Mill Meadow so we're right on the edge of Chalfont St Peter. You can see residential area there, um, fields that way and looking that way is the village centre. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cross Mill Meadow and um, just over there is one of the um, River Midgeborn tributaries sources. So let's go and have a look. So we've just come across Mill Meadow. We're now going to go down this path here to find the springs that form the first of the three tributaries we're going to look at in today's video. So it's just up here. So out of the three we're going to look at, this is the second longest or second shortest. Um, it's not even a quarter of a mile long, so give you an idea. The final one we're going to look at is going to be really short, but the one we're going to look at next um, is, well, about half a mile long, so, you know, a bit longer. So as we come up here, we're getting closer and closer to Chalfont St Peter village centre. So as we come under this lovely beech tree here, we come to some allotments and just on the other side of the allotments is the church which um, we'll probably see a bit later on in the video so I'll just show you where we are the allotments and the village center is there now here if we go into this um, overgrown sort of area we find the first of the spring you can see it's a bit just a bit of water um, not a huge amount of movement I can't actually see where it's coming up it is a summer's day and it's a hot summer's day but I probably should have worn wellies really for doing this um, so I'm not going to go any further but you can see there's water and it just trickles off down there and just on the other side of the tree it widens out a bit so what we're going to do obviously I can't go the course of the river so I'm going to take you back up on to the public footpath and um, the footpath goes through the allotments and that's where there is a bridge over this um, tributary the only bridge over this tributary of course you can cross it further up where it's culverted which we'll get to in a minute i doubt many people actually realize they are crossing it where it's culverted so as the footpath takes us into the allotments um the church is just behind there so we'll we'll see that in a minute the bridge over the culvert it's just over there so the culvert runs basically the edge of the allotments on the other side of the culvert is the football ground here are two alleyways that go up into the residential area so as we walk right through the middle now of the allotments i will show you the bridge and then we can walk along beside the culvert i'm um, sorry along beside the river to where it is culverted and i'm going to show you where it actually joins the main river misborn so um yeah that we shall come to that in a minute So here is the bridge I was telling you about. So you can see the river comes from that direction, goes underneath. It's really flowing nicely there. It's a bit overgrown. We're now going to follow um, the, uh, the river along here and um, I'll show you where it disappears underground. So um, it is a little bit overgrown, but that's probably because it's been dried up for the best part 
of I'd say 15 years I've not seen water in this probably since well at least since I was a child I don't even remember seeing water sort of in my teenage years so it's a bit kind of clogged up here but you know the water is pushing on and making its way through there is an active group of volunteers who have been restoring the main course of the river Mizborn because as I said it does dry up um, fairly frequently and these dry up for longer periods of time so it is my plan to do the whole river Mizborn but what I didn't want to do was start at the other end film it over a few days and when I get here there's an outside chance this might have dried up so I thought it's um, important that we sort of do this as like a pilot video for the main series I'll show you the culverts they're flowing nicely there and then um, we, we will go and do the whole course of the river Mizborn at some point in the future so to come it's, it's even quite deep um five well is on I might just be able to stand in it um it's quite nice and open at this end and then when we get to here this is where the culvert is I wonder if I can um, just step down here so here yeah, it disappears under the culvert now um what I'm not sure is um is it like a straight line culvert or is there a kink in it because if it's sort of gone there it's gonna gone under the garages there's um some fairly modern flats here there was a building here called Elwood House and it was built in the same style as these flats and it was demolished maybe in about 2004 maybe and there was also it had like an identical sister in Chalfont St Giles that was almost well almost identical it was slightly different but they've both been demolished they built this set of flats for somewhere that culvert must literally be running under us right now and that's what I was saying I'm not sure how many people are actually aware you know they're aware they cross it at the bridge but somewhere under the car park is the culvert so what I'm going to do I'm going to take you to the end of where the culvert was or culvert is um so this is the main village car park for Chalfont St Peter got the parish church just over there as I said we would come close to it and now we have what I'll do I'll do a video on Chalfont St Peter in the future so where we look at more buildings and landmarks etc and um, today I just want to concentrate on the Misborns tributary so we come to here the main tributary runs along here over there is the Greyhound pub now here is the main course of the River Misborn. If you look just down there, that is the other end of the culvert. So that's where the first tributary um, joins the main River Misborn. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to walk to the source of the next tributary. So um, see you there. So I have walked about half a mile away from Chalvance and Peter Village Centre and I've come to the next tributary. Now it comes, it's a private garden there, but it comes under a little brick culvert just from under the fence. So it obviously must start in their garden and then it opens up here and um, there we go. And it flows off about a hundred yards down there. Now you may be able to hear there is, um, busy main road just there that is the a413 which you know runs from north bucks right down to um the denham roundabout now the old a413 is over there on the other side of those woodlands so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna walk along here i won't do it on camera all the way because as you can see it is a little bit overgrown um so it's a bit of an odd place to be to be making a video effectively just you know walking along the roadside but anyway I'm going to go to the culvert and I shall show you that now so there we are that is the culvert which takes this tributary of the river Misborne under the new A413 so started about 100 yards that way it's flown along here and it goes as I said underneath the A413 so what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to go and cross it and we shall appear or I shall appear on the other side of the culvert
here we are then. This is the same culvert we were at just a moment ago. So it takes this tributary under the A413. Now, as I said, a lot of the time this used to be dried up and I used to come down here as a child. Now this cycleway wasn't here. So this was just all in bushes. So if you walk from Chalfont Park, which we'll get to in a minute, there's a road just the other side. But I used to come in here and I discovered that there was a culvert here, but I never knew where it went. I didn't realize it went under the A413 and it had always been my plan when it was dried up one day to crawl through and see where it went to. But anyway, I never had to do that because um, as you can see, we've just done it on foot. So here, the course of this tributary is quite wide. Now, again, I don't know if it has a name, but if anyone does know, you know, if you would like to comment and tell me, please do. But there is something um, rather interesting I'll be able to tell you in a minute because I talked about how it can dry up. So we actually have to leave the course here as we come into Chalfont Park. It's a former stately home. It's also a business park. I'll do a video more focusing on Chalfont Park in the future. So um, I'm just going to walk up the road a little way and um, we shall find the river again. So here we are a bit further up the course. Now just look how I've grown that is. It's not great and that's probably one of the problems it has when it dries up with it starting to flow again it is just so overgrown now like i said it had been dried up for at least 15 years so it almost kind of got abandoned i'm wondering if people ever realized it would flow again but you know flow it has and it's got water in and um it would look you know if it, this was all cleared nicely because here we have the amazing Chalfont Park house Look, like I said I will do a different video on it this isn't going to be a history video this it, really is focusing on these um on on the tributaries of the River Misbourne but it would just look so much nicer you look at that scene of the house turn to here if this wasn't quite as overgrown okay it's not quite so bad here but you know it, it, it could do with um just being you know cleared out and that you can see where a load of leaves here have bunched up and they've sort of pushed forward and created a little waterfall but the river is is very clear um i wouldn't like to try and drink it but it is a chalk stream and water from chalk stream you know is very pure and can be drank and would have been drank by people so you see the house so it's the house i'm not going to get too in much into it but it was designed by john nash um quite a famous architect of the period he designed many houses um, or many of the smaller buildings on the Attingham Park estate in Shropshire. Um, Attingham Park is National Trust. Um, we'll have to go there at some point but yeah we'll, we'll do a video more focusing on the house at some point in the future. So as we come along by this tributary of the River Misbourne just over there that's the old cricket pavilion it's it's currently abandoned and um, when I last came along, here, there were some horses in that field, so I'm not quite sure really what's going on there, but it, the, the river gets quite overgrown again. I just saw what looked like a duck nesting. Um, or is it nesting? You can just see. If the camera's picking it out, there is a duck. I don't want to disturb it, so I won't go any closer. But just here, something weird happens. I talked about how they dry up. Well, it kind of is drying up. It's like the water disappears we get to here and um, there is literally no water so this is how I'm used to it looking being an empty riverbed look I can stand in it and you know it is it's dry so it's a bit bizarre that 25 yards that way it's flowing like a river here you know look it is as dry as a bone but weirdly where it um, further up it starts flowing again so quite how that works this is where you know if someone wants to help me here can tell me oh, is there another spring up here because what and what happens to that water it must sort of just soak into the ground and then reappear so i'm going to now follow the dried up riverbed but i should get to a point where i'll show you where we have water again so believe it or not that the water would flow through all these bushes and it is still very much dried up. We come to a point now where the road crosses the um, dried up riverbed. So you can see, here's the bridge. So the water should be flowing under there into, um, into there. So it's, um, it's really strange how it can be that there's water back there 
and there isn't here, but I have seen this on the main course of the River Misborn. I've known it flow in Amersham, but be dried up in Shelfels and Peter. Interestingly, I've never seen it dried up beyond Chalfont Park because we'll look focus on it more when we do the main course of River Misborne. But behind the Chalfont Park house, the river's been dug out into a lake and there's a spring at the upstream end of the lake and it's always, always flowed since past there. There is, um, I know the top section is known as the Winterbourne section because it is, it does naturally dry up in summer because the way chalk streams work, it's like a sponge. So when there's water, um, or the water comes out the chalk like a sponge, so the head of the river moves backwards and forwards. But it kind of, so traditionally it should dry up in the winter. I mean, sorry, dry up in the summer and flow in the winter. But I've known summers where, you know, it flows throughout the whole summer. By the way, I'm just taking you onto this footpath. If you go up that footpath there, you'll go across the main road up to Jarge Cross. We're going to go down here because I want to get back to that tributary. So yeah, the, the head of the river does move up and down the valley, but it never seems to dry up beyond here, except for this tributary does come and go. Now it's just along the other side of the field now. I was out for a walk the other day, it's kind of what gave me the idea for this. So along, there's a drive along there, that's also a public footpath. And that was when I noticed that there was water here, but there wasn't further back there, but there was at the top. And that made me think, yeah, let's make a video before the whole lot dries up. I don't know if it's ever flown right the way through since it started flowing earlier on in the year. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure on that one. But as we get to here, the river is, just down there. Now, this field is, is a bit sort of muddy and boggy. Um, now have a look at this. We're back to the same tributary. As I said, this is the longest one and it's clearly got water in it. Now, yes, there is this drain coming off the main road, which no doubt is helping, but there is water flowing from up there. So, you know, there must be another spring but it just seems strange how where we first saw it there was so much water there how all that water can disappear now this is a private driveway but is a public footpath and it goes for a ford and um, there's a bridge for us to walk over so um what happens now it goes into a private garden so i can't really show you anymore but i'll point out when we get to the main course of the river which is about 100 yards up there i'll show you where it joins the main River Misborn. So we've now joined the main course of the River Misborn. The tributary we've been following, it joins just about there, where my finger is. So it, it's on private property, so I can't take you to show you the confluence, but that's where it joins. This is the main course of the Misborn. There's public footpaths one way back through Chalfant Park, there's a public footpath up there now. I don't want to spoil the surprise too much, I'm only going to show you from here, but you can see there's a waterfall and a lake. We will look at that more closely when we do the main series where we walk the whole of the River Misborn, that's Chalfant Park Lake. So I'm going to um, let you see that in the future, so um, do look out for that video. But now there's one more very short tributary at the other end of the lake that we need to go and find. So now back at the other end of Chalfont Park, I've just come down this little path here to show you the third and final spring I'm going to show you today. It starts just here that you can literally see the water coming out the ground. Now it just literally goes along there and round the corner. It's probably one of the shortest springs I've ever seen. And it must be the shortest spring on the Misborn. So I follow this path round here. I shall show you where it actually joins the main Misborn. Now, a moment ago, when I was down at the other end of the lake, I, you could see the waterfall through the trees, so I'm gonna save that for the main series, but I'm now gonna show you the other end of the lake, because that's where it joins. So it runs just over there, through the trees over there are the offices I mentioned earlier. This is the main course of the River Misborn, and what it does, it actually goes down a bit of a waterfall into the lake itself. So you can see the river is just flowing along along there. And then there's a bit of a little cascade here. So when I said I've never seen the river dry up beyond here, I've come here 
and this section of the river will be dried up but the spring i think there might be one more spring down there i seem to remember seeing water coming out down there but the um other tributary perhaps it was easier said than done to show you where it joins let's see if we can find it through here um well oh yeah here we are so it's uh, again all in the bushes but it is just there through those rhododendrons and there is the lake on the main course of the river Mismos that has been dug out to be a lake we'll go and do the um Chalfont Park the gardens in the future and we'll look at more into the history but today's video was purely on the tributaries with the Mis of the river Misbourne but I'm going to actually finish by <laughs> showing you a waterfall on the main river Misbourne so this is a taste of what we've got to come when we do the main series we'll come across other country estates like this that the river Misbourne flows through and uh, we will follow it from source to confluence with the river Colne so hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe comment tell your friends tell your neighbors tell anyone you think might be interested in the river Misbourne and my videos and watch out for the main series it's coming in the future so from Chalfont Park and River Misbourne goodbye